Hey all, welcome to Chris's Daily Read Aloud. Today we're going to be reading Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman. This is a request from Cash and Sunny. So if you have book requests, send them my way and if I have, if I brought the book home, I will read them. Llama Destroys the World. I am Llama. On Friday, Lama will destroy the world. I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. Monday. On Monday, Lama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Lama should ever eat. Dat, said Lama. Lama ate all of the cake. This was his first mistake. But it was not. <coughs> it was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. <coughs> Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing, so Lama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he'd never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Lama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Lama danced. He jigged. He tangoed. He cha cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect. His moves were precise. But the pants never stood a chance. Rip. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Rip. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Lama found the black hole. Da! said Lama. He'd never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Lama was a Lama of science. He knew the answers were out there, waiting to be discovered. For science! There goes Lama with his friends. Lama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. Da said Lama, wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Lama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Lama didn't notice. Look at those well-dressed turtles, so fancy. Thursdays were for painting, and Lama was busy, busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. There's Lama's masterpiece, and there go the turtles. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, and the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama. There goes Llama. The black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until... There was nothing. I am Lama. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Lama. I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, 
like nothing had ever happened. Malice, leave it. Sorry. We have a friend, a guest in the room, who is chewing on books currently. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm like nothing had ever happened. I almost skipped a page. Can't do that. Sunday. On Sunday, the world was back to normal. Malos, leave it. Hey, come. 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 Good boy. Yeah. The world was back to normal. Or sorry, with the world back to normal. Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any llama should ever eat. Da! Said llama. There's the pie. Llama ate all of the pie. The end. What do you think is going to happen next? If you'd like, that could be a fun story that you could write. And then you could send it to us and we could share it. Up to you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, to Since today is Friday, I'm not sure if we're going to do any this weekend, but I will try to get some up. So tune in at the very latest next Monday for our next daily read aloud. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And I hope everyone's doing well. Have a good one. Bye.